Why is it called that, then, Skip? What? Ottery St. Mary. I have no idea. Do you know, Douglas? Yes. Do you? Certainly I do. <laughs> you see, St. Mary is the patron saint of Devon, and she, of course, was famously martyred by being eaten alive by otters. <laughs> really? Oh, yes. Rabid otters. <laughs> So she's always portrayed in pictures absolutely covered in otters. By eating her? Sometimes in the more fire and brimstone churches. Elsewhere, the assumption is they're all in heaven now and have made up, so they're just shown milling about her, nuzzling her affectionately and offering her ottery kisses <laughs> and gifts of haddock. Douglas. Why would the otters go to heaven if they ate a saint? You've put your finger, Arthur, as is so often your way, on the crux of a thorny theological problem. <laughs> so far, our best guess is simply that St Peter's got a real soft spot for otters. <laughs> he looks into those whiskery faces and goes, You guys. <laughs> I can't stay mad at you. And lets them into heaven. So heaven is full of otters. More than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> so in your case, Arthur, probably be about 12. Hey, I can imagine loads of otters. Really? How many? A million. You see, I don't think you can. I don't think anyone can. I can. I'm doing it now. Wow! <laughs> no, you're just imagining a lot of otters and then saying that's a million. I don't think anyone can actually genuinely imagine more than about... 20 otters at a time. Oh, come on. I mean, I could definitely imagine 100 otters. Mm, me too, yellow car. <laughs> All right, how much space do they take up? Uh... Could you, for instance, get 100 otters on board Gertie? Yes, I reckon you could. And is it a jam-packed RSPCA nightmare of a plane? <laughs> or are the otters lounging in relative comfort? <laughs> Well, OK, there's, uh, there's 16 seats, so say two to a seat. They're good friends, these otters? <laughs> Let's hope so. And one in each overhead compartment? Always remembering to open them with care, because otters may have shifted during the flight. And uh, one under each seat? Yes, good thinking. Oh, but that's where the life jackets are. That's all right. Otters can swim. <laughs> now, how many in the galley? Four on the floor, two on the worktops. Well, it depends. Are we carrying Carolyn and Arthur? To wait on the otters? <laughs> I think that would be an indulgence, frankly. I think we'd be better off replacing them with more otters. <laughs> I'd be better off replacing Arthur with an otter anyway. Hey! <laughs> so, 32 in the seat, 16 in the overhead lockers, 16 under the seat, 6 in the galley... 15 in the hold? Oh, 20, easily, and 6 or 7 in the aisle. Call it 7. That's what, 97 and 3 in the flight deck. 100. Brilliant! No, not in the flight deck. Hypothetically. I don't care how hypothetical it is, I'm not flying with a live otter in the flight deck. I don't see why not. Historically, very few hijackings have been carried out by otters. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think the Civil Aviation Authority would be too keen on the idea. To be quite honest with you, Captain, I don't think there's a whole lot about this plane full of unsupervised otters the CAA is going to love. Couldn't we fit a couple in the loo? What? Otters. Ah, yes. Brilliant, Skip. So, uh, how many is that? 99. Oh, we got to get to 100. Coffee, chaps, and I've had a brilliant idea. Yes? The fridge in the galley. I was just looking at it. I reckon if you turned it off and took the shelves out, you could get an otter in it. <laughs> Do you know what? I think you're right. Gentlemen, we have hit our otter target. Hooray! Martin, you were quite right. You can imagine a hundred otters. Thank you.